Howdy y'all and welcome back. It's early September, it's only 92 here in the garage, and we're almost to that time of year where I can do a video without just ending up just moist. <laughs> so today we're talking about the Rocket Armory LGO number 7 version like 5, I think. This is my test and tune gun. I've had, this is the fourth barrel, uh, third hand guard, or fourth hand guard. I've had probably five different dot optics or, you know, 1X optics. I've run an LPO, LPVO on here, uh, several different triggers, different, a handful of different muzzle devices. It's my test gun, right? So, but I'm always looking for that, like, ah, there it is, where I can just leave it alone, and I might maybe be there with the new Sons of Liberty Gunworks 14.5 Combat V2 Cold Hammer Forged N556. Did I get all that right? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Sons of Liberty barrel. Uh, in the intro clip you saw there, it still had the Midwest Industries lightweight handguard and a Surefire War Comp closed tine. And I have since put on a Sons of Liberty M89 and a forward control design three prong threaded for the Plan B slash Atlas universe of the ecosystem of suppressor adapters. So that's the direction I'm leaning in getting a can on this guy. So let's talk about the barrel itself. Got it out last weekend, got it zeroed, shot some three round groups just to get it aiming center. I was still a little low, but uh, when they called a ceasefire, went out and hung a clean target. And again, was coming in a little low, made one adjustment up, started putting them in the middle, then got a little lazy towards the end of a, this was a 30 round magazine, and started putting them a little low or yeah, low and right there, as you can see, but and one total flyer. Uh, but overall felt like it was good and pretty zero. This is uh, 55 grain from 2A Warehouse. It's their Reman 223. I don't expect amazing results from that. Um, so switched over to some 75 grain from AAC and just did two five round groups. And those are the results. Now that's, yes, that's probably a full like two and a half MOA, right? If you account for like, at a hundred yards, um, I'm shooting the EOTech. I have really bad eyesight and, and astigmatism. So the one MOA dot to me is about a four or five MOA dot. So at, even at 50, the dot pretty much just obscures the entire bullseye and I'm just kind of using the force, right? I'm actually kind of looking around more like putting the big fuzzy dot in the middle of the green and I'm actually using the outline of the green to kind of hope I'm in the middle. So, I mean, if I'm not on an etched reticle, it's not going to be amazing results. I can live with these results. Uh, so this was some federal gold medal match, super fancy uh, with some Sierra match Kings. And that's again, two five round groups. Still probably two, two MOA if you account for, you know, distance, but uh, at 50, for an e with an EOTech, for me, I am totally fine with that. Um, so, yes, I am aware that this is probably a ballistic advantage barrel. Somebody inevitably will go down into the comments and be the smart guy in the room and tell me about how Sons of Liberty doesn't actually really make anything and that this is a ballistic advantage barrel. It might be a Roscoe, but I think it's Ballistic Advantage. It's the same, their retail price is the same as Ballistic Advantage's Cold Hammer Forge line. So I'm guessing that is probably what it is. But I am aware, and their triggers are made by somebody else, and their bolt carrier groups are micro best. I, I get it. Totally got it. Calling it. Calling it a Ballistic Advantage barrel is not a bad thing. Those are actually really, really strong barrels. They're great. So I, I know what it is, but I've got a little theme going on here, so I'm sticking with it. Uh, the M89 handguard is an absolute beast. Uh, the barrel was going, you know, up in weight, and then the handguard went way, way. Well, you know what? Let's just take a look at the process I have gone through in bulking this guy. 
All right, Fax and Gunner Barrel with light, optic, sling, obviously no magazine, but the weight I had a second ago was 7 pounds, 8.4 ounces. It's obviously bouncing all over the place, but it, for a brief second there, I had it balancing on its own, and it was 7 pounds, 8.4 ounces, so that is the before weight. All right, and same deal. I was able to get it to free float balance on its own for a brief second, and it was, there we go, 13.6. So seven pounds, 13.6 ounces. We had it balancing there for a second, but okay, so forward controls design flash hider. It's a three prong, got the suns. Barrel, Sons of Liberty Gunworks, M89 handguard, which is a chonk. And then we've swapped the CTR for a Bravo, a B5 Bravo. Everything else is the same, and we're coming in at 8.41. And that is what it's reading when it will balance. I keep getting it to balance, and then it unbalances. But that's the total weight gain. Ah, uh, well, there you go. All right, so we're about 12 ounces up total, but it's still very, very manageable and really, really solid. I like the way it feels. It was almost a little too light before. If you've ever fired an AR that just felt a little too light, um, I'm sure running a can, it would have been a little more balanced with the real lightweight, but I didn't want to have a super, you know, pencil-ish barrel, then with a can, and then if things get hot, and then you get, right, I wanted a little bit sturdier barrel for doing a can on, um, and it's very, very manageable, and mostly it's very solid, and I like that feeling in an AR. I'm real picky about, I don't like receiver wobble, and I, I just like everything to be tight and solid, so here we are. Time will tell as far as how the barrel wears, and different kinds of, you know, what kinds of food it likes and all that kind of stuff. This is just initial impressions. But overall, I, I should mention, I got both of these, the barrel and handguard, on really, really big uh, Labor Day sales. Buy your shit on sale, y'all. <laughs> Don't pay retail for stuff. Um, anyway, that's all I got for this one. Until next time, be easy, y'all.